In this particular example, we'll be using the TCM VAV bioprinter system to construct a microfluidic device. Shown here in TSIM, a mock-up of that particular device. On the left is a tall inflow tower connecting to an inflow reservoir. On the right is an outflow tower leading out from an outflow reservoir. And uh, connecting the two reservoirs are five parallel microfluidic channels shown here in red, which will serve as the perfusion uh, routes. In TSIM, once it's finished, the construct is sent to the BAB bioprinter, which is first instructed to print the five parallel microfluidic channels of a sacrificial material, in this case, pleuronic hydrogel. In uh, this particular case, the channels are uh, intended to be approximately 210 microns in diameter with an approximate 140 micron spacing. Now, BAB is instructed to uh, change materials, in this case a red uh, pleuronic hydrogel, and a different needle diameter to print the inflow and outflow reservoir and ports. Shown here is that finished print prior to backfilling with a more uh, solid material. In this case, uh, it's acrylate that is photoactivatable to uh, cure it. Then inflow and outflow conduits are connected to the device to remove the pleuronic sacrificial material, leaving behind the fluidic channels. Then on the inflow, fluid is introduced containing a blue dye to help in visualization. And uh, fluid then is first flushes out the pleuronic and then now is perfusing through these channels. Here we see air bubbles being removed followed then by the blue fluid that begins to perfuse through and uh, complete the uh, perfusion circuit of the device.